I'm going to describe how to read a psychometric chart by using an interactive simulation will help you determine dew points and bubble points, wet bulb temperatures, etc. Simulation is located on the LearnChemE site and the link is given here. And here's a snapshot of what the simulation looks like. So this psychometric chart, sometimes called an humidity chart, temperatures on the x-axis and the moisture content, in this case kilograms of water per kilogram of dry air. And the saturation line, the solid green line, corresponds to 100% humidity. And then 90, 80, 70, etc. Humidity lines are represented here. And what the simulation allows you to do is to select which things are displayed to make it a little easier to read the chart. So we're going to look at the simulation and uncheck boxes and demonstrate the use of this psychometric chart. So here's the interactive simulation. Let me uncheck some things. So relative humidity lines, we can uncheck the label. If we check temperatures, then it's going to display three temperatures. And it, using the mouse, we can see the dry bulb temperature is the temperature that we're measuring. The wet bulb temperature, notice this is the line of constant humidity. The wet bulb temperature is the temperature where this line of constant humidity intersects the saturation line. So the wet bulb temperature, we can also display these values, make it a little easier to see. The dry bulb temperature is 23. The wet bulb temperature is 16. This is you know measured using a wet bulb thermometer. And then the dew point temperature is 12 and that means that's a temperature that we would have to lower a mixture in order you know air that has water in it that mixture temperature we have to lower until we reach the saturation line and we start getting dew forms let me uncheck that box for a second so we can have grid lines it makes it a little easier sometimes to read values you can also look at lines of constant volume lines of constant enthalpy and hopefully we can see how, for example, if we move this dot to 20% humidity, then the wet bulb temperature happens to be 20 degrees centigrade, and the dew point temperature is 11 degrees centigrade. So we have to lower the temperature quite a bit when we're at low humidity in order to get saturation and dew forming. Well, the simulation has some details of information used for the simulation. And the idea is that this chart is useful for understanding moisture content in air and being able to, for example, we can measure the wet bulb temperature in order to determine relative humidity, and that's, that's commonly done.